in another video and today uh, I would like to tell you about the vanillas I don't like. So as a disclaimer I would like to um, I would like I only would like, would like to say that please don't take it personally or don't get offended by what I'm gonna say because a lot of the fragrances I'm gonna mention today are actually uh, fragrances that a lot of people love. Um, this is just my personal preference. As I said in my previous video, I don't like vanillas that are too sweet or too gourmandy. Of course, vanilla is like in general a, quite a gourmandy uh, ingredient, but uh, at the beginning of my fragrance journey, I used to say that I don't like vanilla fragrances and um, as I moved on, um, on this path, <laughs> I, I discovered that vanilla has many facets and not all of them are edible. Uh, so without further ado, I'm going to start with the first one. Um, and the first one is going to be Lira by Zerzhov. Uh, so I, I bought um, a, a sample of Lira uh, because I, I heard so many wonderful things uh, about the fragrance and I must say I wore it twice or three times and I really tried to love it. But for me... <laughs> Well, I'm going to insert a, a small uh, video from my first impressions, um, so... So, a little update on Lyra. It's very sweet. And I feel like a cupcake. Yeah, I felt like a cupcake. So this one is very gourmandy, very thick. It smells like cupcakes. So there is vanilla, there is caramel. Uh, I think there is also some licorice, uh, which will be like um, recurrent, um, recurring theme in this video because quite a lot of uh, vanillas that I don't like, vanilla fragrances that I don't like, uh, contain licorice. At least two of them. Uh, so Lyra didn't work for me, I felt too, it, it felt too edible. So <clears throat> for me, um, the thing with foody, food smelling fragrances is that, that, that I feel kind of dirty wearing them. Uh, after a while I feel like, you know, sometimes when you eat and you spill something on your clothes or you get your face is dirty from chocolate or whatever you, you are eating, you get the waft of, of the food that you that you ate. And uh, I really don't like that. I don't like that effect from my perfume. So that's basically... Uh, I feel like I'm wearing the memory of my past uh, meal. Yeah. No, that's not what I like. <laughs> Which leads us to number two. And this is a fragrance that gets a lot of love and it's very often um, mentioned as... Um, it's one of the most famous vanillas. And it's Serge Luton's Umbois de Vigny. I can't handle this fragrance. I tried I tried to love it, I tried to wear it, but as I could stand Lyra, I couldn't go past like one hour mark with Umbra de Vigny. It's simply it simply smells too sweet, too cloying, and um, I'm gonna use my notes. Umbra de Vigny features licorice, coconut and tonka, so it's very sweet. It smells um, so cloying that after an hour I, I have enough and I have to scrub it off. So this one is a no-no for me. Um, Umbois de Vigny pushed to uh, unbearable level 
was an experience I had with another video, uh, another another uh, fragrance that is Sweet Vanilla by Montal, and this basically the or the the listed notes are apricot and vanilla, and it basically smells like that, as if you took um, an apricot dipped in in sugar and sprinkled some sugar on top, like vanilla sugar, or even vanillin sugar, because it smells extremely synthetic. No, no. Okay, so now I'll have like the whole group of fragrances, because these are the vanillas that I consider like very similar. Uh, so, the most tricky for me is La Via Belle, and from La Via Belle we go to Black Opium by YSL, and from that we go to C. So all this group of extremely sweet, loud uh, fragrances is a big no for me. So basically, with all the fragrances, uh, that give me this feeling that my teeth hurt, that they are so sweet, that my teeth hurt. Uh, this is not what I like in my fragrances. On to the next one. The next one is going to be something that a lot of people love and it's on the top of their vanilla centric lists. And I mean Hypnotic Poison by Dior, uh, E.T. And again, we have Apricot Tuberose, which is probably one of the most hated ingredients for me. There is Coconut, which I hate with all my heart, and Almond. So this concoction, as you can probably imagine, is like a nightmare for me. So. Uh, for me, uh, Hypnotic Poison smells like a very sweet, almondy, plasticky Play-Doh. I, I, I don't want to smell like that. <laughs> Another vanilla that used to be mentioned quite a lot when it was launched, uh, and it was hyped quite a lot was Vanilla Vibes by Juliet Has a Gun. And I wanted to try it so badly and I wanted to love it so badly, but it features like another quality in fragrances that I don't like. Mainly it's 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 supposed to combine vanilla and aquatic notes and again it has salt, tonka, vanille. So it's very it was very sweet, but and I get a lot of coconut in it as well. So the history with Vanilla Vibes was that I sprayed it on and I got like migraine in 30 seconds. So I got such a massive headache that I couldn't see anything. <laughs> and I had to have like a two hour nap. It devastated me and uh, during that nap I had like a dream that a skunk is chasing me, so let's stop at this. <laughs> okay, another one. Another one is by Tom Ford and that is Vinny Fatale. And yeah, the name is very evocative of the experience I had with it. Um, I wore it only once um, and I wore it to my yoga classes because my ultimate yoga uh, fragrance is um, Virgil by Sylvain de la Corte and I thought, okay, this vanilla works so well during yoga that I'm gonna wear, I'm gonna try Vanille Fatale and I sprayed it blindly. Uh, I think it was um, winter last year. 
so I put my coat on, I went to my uh, yoga classes, I took my coat off when I was there and um, I started talking to, uh, to a friend and I was like, oh my god, she smells horrible today, her, her perfume is, smells so cheap and synthetic, I, I pity her, she, she smells, she doesn't smell good. But the friend left my vicinity and as I was changing, I realized that the smell of her perfume is following me. And I realized, oh fuck, that's me. And I was so self-conscious throughout the classes. It was so bitter, synthetic, uh, so unpleasant that I was like, no, no, no. <laughs> uh, so that was Bani Fatal by Tom Ford. I really, really didn't like the experience. So with Vanille Fatal, we entered the realm of vanillas that turn bitter on my skin. So the first that I mentioned were vanillas that are so sweet that they are cloying, they smell like food and I can't stand them because they are so sweet. Vanille Fatal and the rest I'm going to mention are the vanillas that my skin, I think this is what my skin does to the, those fragrances so it's not even about the fragrances themselves but they simply don't work well with my skin and um, so that was Vanille Fatale and another one uh, which um, I had a very similar experience with and I also tried to love it um, I tried to wear it three times and each time I had to scrub it off and that was um, Mona di Oreo Veni. Um, we have rum, clove and vetiver in here. I don't know if it's the combination of uh, vanilla and vetiver that doesn't work for me, but simply it, it smelled very bitter, plasticky and um, it simply it, flat like lifeless almost. I can't explain it in, in other way. Um, I really, I really didn't like it. Um, another one that I really didn't enjoy and no, I hated it, was um, Vanilla, uh, Vanilla and Anise by Jo Malone. Um, so again, we'll have Anise, Fennel, tuberose, vetiver and clove. This combination, um, no, uh, it, it's, it doesn't work for me. So again we have licorice, again we have vetiver uh, and yeah, the tuberose that I hate. And last that I want to mention Probably a lot of people are gonna hate me right now, but it's simply I, I find this 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 fragrance quite beautiful, uh, but it simply smells bad on me. And it, this is Crown Soir by MFK. Um, but I know this is my skin, so this is like it's me, not you, <laughs> kind of situation. <laughs> Um, because uh, I tried it with my friend and on her it smelled really nice. Uh, my skin brought out all the worst qualities from it. So again, my skin turned this fragrance into this, this flat and bitter um, fragrance. So yeah. I hope that this list can be useful for those people who are on the opposite side, who like very sweet and gourmandy and cupcake-y fragrances, so they can use my list as a recommendation, or for those people who simply are like me and don't like to smell like food or a candle, and they can 
steer clear of those um, from my list. So I hope you enjoyed the video and see you in the next one.